Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to fix my braked Stealth 700 Gen 2 Turtle Beach headset. So, <clears throat> I think a lot of people have been having this issue. Um, I've owned these pair of headphones, headsets, for about maybe five months now. I only got to use them like four months. <clears throat> One day, um, I was just using it like normal and I decided to turn them off because it was acting weird. Um, the game audio wasn't as loud as it normally is so I thought you know soft rebooting it would do the trick. It normally did. <clears throat> so I turned it off and then it never turned back on. Uh, at first I thought okay maybe they were dead, the, the battery died. Um, but as you can see here, I'm grabbing my charger cable. Oh, this is the wrong one. Um, well, that's awkward. Okay, hold on. I got another one here. I'm gonna plug this into my charger here. And Plug my headset in, and as you can see, I get nothing, not even a charge light, indicator light of any sort, it's just dead. So <clears throat> I recently came across uh, this piece of software that is supposed to fix this, and so let's uh, jump right into that. All right, so <clears throat> this is actually my first time trying this, so I'm hoping it works. Um, I'm gonna plug in, I'm on Mac here, so I'm gonna plug this in to my laptop here. And I, like I said, I'm on Mac, so I'm running a Windows Virtual Machine, um, but this should work either way, so. We're in Windows here. I got my um, Turtle Beach hooked up. And um, you know, just to show you guys, <clears throat> it does not even detect it when I open up the Turtle Beach app here. It just says, please connect the Turtle Beach device. And I try this on an actual Windows machine. And um, God, these pop-ups and it did the same thing so i got this uh, utility here from turtle beach support themselves so i'm going to launch it and let's see what we have here connect your stealth 700 gen 2 headset to a usb port on your pc with a supplied usb charge cable if window asks for permission to run this updater select allow access okay yes we're ready to start Okay, looks like it wants access to my firewall. Sure, why not? And So it looks like it's just going here. Um, instructions say that this process will take five minutes. And um, once it's done, it's gonna display programming complete. So 
So it looks like it's actually talking to my headset. It's, it's writing a... It's flashing. I guess it's reflashing it. Um, yes, we wait. Programming complete. Please unplug your headset. Okay, well, this is a good sign. Um, I actually got Turtle Beach here being detected. Please unplug your headset and restart. Okay. Now look at this, guys. We have an indicator light. I just unplugged it, but the red light was on. It was charging, so moment of truth. Let's see. Would you look at that? Pairing Bluetooth. I think the uh, battery might be dead here, so let's try plugging it into some power. It's charging. That's definitely a lot better than before. Battery charging. Battery charging. Wow. Would you look at that? So I guess now we can um, try to pair this baby up to the Xbox. And let's see what we get. <clears throat> All right, so we are on the Xbox here and uh, we're gonna try to pair it and see what happens. Press and hold the pair button on my Xbox and I'm using a Series X. And press and hold the pair button here. Headset paired. That's a good sign. Let's go over here, my settings. And we want to go to accessories. And I got my other headset hooked up here. So I'm guessing this is the one, Turtle Beach. Headset is signed. Go over to party chat. Check it out. Yo! Yo, yo, yo! So far, no audio. Uh, let's see. All right, so I had to unplug my uh, other headset, my Astros I got over here, and I can hear audio. Wow. I just fixed my turtle beaches. It's working. Yep. It unbricked it. So there you have it. My Gen 2 700s are finally unbricked. Now for $150, you know, I know it's not the top of the line headset, but shouldn't have to be going through this, but I'm glad that they actually finally provided a fix. So I guess kudos to Turtle Beach for that. But there you go.